Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more DCS 810C. The General Electric GAU 8A Avenger is a 30mm Gatling type auto cannon developed in parallel with the A10. Like the original Gatling gun, the firing cycle is actuated by cams and powered by the rotation of the barrels. Each barrel has its own breech and bolt. The GAU 8 uses three ammunition types. PGU-14B Armour Piercing Incendiary, PGU-13B High Explosive Incendiary and Inert Training Practice Rounds. Average recoil force of the GAU-8 is £10,000 force, slightly greater than the output of one of the two TF-34 engines, while significant in level flight to burst only slows the aircraft a few miles per hour. The GAU-8 is rated at 5 mil 80% which means that 80% of rounds fired will impact within a cone with an angle of 5 milli radians or 0.2 degrees. While the magazine has a 1174 round capacity, 1150 is the typical loadout. The cannon has a rate of fire of 3900 rounds per minute, but is limited to 1 and 2 second bursts to conserve ammunition and prevent overheating. The spent casings are recycled back into the ammunition drum, eliminating the need to generate sufficient energy to eject spent casings clear of the airframe. EAC on. The enhanced control, or EAC, provides the precision attitude control, or PAC. SAS on. The stability augmentation system improves the handling of the A-10 improving target tracking and reducing the amount of trimming required. Aircraft stores are managed through the Digital Stores Management System, pronounced Dismas. To view the Dismas status page, press OSB 14. The selected profile is displayed in the centre of the page. A profile controls parameters applicable for specific weapons. Above it is the current master mode setting. The data on the Dismas status page will be displayed according to the settings of the master arm and gun pack switches. The selected profile colour can be white, green or blue, indicating master arm is set to safe, arm or train respectively. If the gun's round remaining counter is not inverted, the gun pack switch is set to safe. If the counter is inverted, it indicates that the gun pack switch is set to arm or gun arm. To cycle the master mode setting, press the master mode control button on the stick. Cycle the master mode to guns. Master arm, arm. To enable pack, set gun pack to arm. When enabled, pack adjusts pitch and yaw to reduce dispersion around the aim point. The first stage of the trigger activates the pack system, which then attempts to keep the pipper on the target while the trigger is held down. The second stage of the trigger fires the weapon. Note the changes on the Dismas status page, indicating master arm and gun pack status. To display the HUD settings display, set the Integrated Flight and Fire Control Computer, or IFFCC, to test. To review and edit GAU-8 settings, using the Select Rocker and Enter button, select Weapons and the 30mm option. Ammo type, training practice. This must match the ammunition type loaded on the aircraft. The ammunition manufacturer options all have the same properties. The minimum altitude option defines the elevation used by the gun minimum range queue, or MRC. To set minimum altitude to 1,500 feet, use the data rocker switch.
IFFCC on. In the on position, the IFFCC system is activated and the hood is displayed. Note that master mode status is also displayed on the hood. With guns master mode selected and the armament hood control panel or AHCP switches set correctly, one of four types of gun sight is displayed on the hood. The continuously computed impact point or CCIP gun reticle is the default gun sight and provides the most information. The aiming pipper is in the centre of the reticle. Assuming the target is within range, rounds fired will hit that point. When combat MIG ammunition is loaded, two pippers are displayed. The centre pipper indicates the predicted impact point of AP rounds, while the pipper to the lower right indicates the impact point for HE rounds. Line of sight range is displayed below the reticle and in a range bar which rotates anti-clockwise as range decreases. Line of sight range is sight range from the aircraft to the ground point. Effective engagement range is between 0.5 and 2 miles slant range. Tanks should be engaged from 0.5 range maximum, preferably against a weaker rear armour using combat mix ammunition. Range affects gun effectiveness. As rounds gradually lose velocity and disperse, accuracy and effectiveness are reduced. The vertical lines on either side of the pipper are the moving target indices. They represent the lead required for a target moving at 20 knots perpendicular to line of sight. The moving target indices are roll stabilised to remain parallel with the horizon. If a minimum altitude greater than zero was entered in the IFFCC menu, the minimum range cue indicator appears to the right of the reticle. Minimum altitude is indicated when the cue is in the 3 o'clock position. At or above this position, the aircraft can be returned to level flight at or above the minimum altitude entered. An X in the centre of the reticle indicates that accurate data is not available. To cycle between gun sights, press Data Management Switch or DMS left short. Note the hood must be Sensor of Interest or SOI. To make hood SOI, press Coolie Hat up. When the hood is SOI, an asterisk appears towards the bottom left. The CCIP gun cross is more compact, removing the range bar and the moving target indices. When accurate target elevation is not available, the 4812 gun reticle provides three pippers, calibrated from top to bottom to slant ranges of 4000, 8000 and 12000 feet. The 4,000 feet gun cross displays a 4,000 feet wind corrected slant range solution. Slant range is the direct range between two points. It is used when inaccurate target elevation information prevents an accurate CCIP solution. To select DTS elevation data, press the data rocker, then the select rocker until DTS is displayed on the third line of the HUD data block. Data Transfer System, or DTS, elevation data is used to define the elevation of the aim point. The DTS loads navigation and weapon data from the mission planner. If aim point elevation is based on the steer point, and the steer point is at a higher elevation than the aim point, a CCIP invalid error is displayed. The AN AAQ-28 Lightning is a precision targeting pod, or TGP. It has a high resolution forward looking infrared or FLIR sensor, a charged coupled device or CCD camera for target imagery in the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum and a laser designator for precise delivery of laser guided munitions. A laser rangefinder provides information for navigation and target updates and weapon delivery. Automatic and stabilized target tracking consistent with weapon delivery maneuvers simplifies target detection and recognition 
and use of precision guided weapons on a single pass. CGP on. Not timed out will be displayed before the CGP powers on. It will then perform its built in test or bit. The TGP is ready for operation when the standby page is displayed. Note that the current steer point is already defined as the sensor point of interest, or SPI. With the TAD as SOI, the SPI can be changed by slewing the cursor over a waypoint or other TAD object, pressing target management switch or TMS forward long, and pressing China hat forward long to point the TGP at the SPI. To select air to ground mode, press OSB2. To make the TGP soy, press coolie hat right long. Slew the cursor with the slew controls, left, right, up and down. Adjust zoom in and out with DMS up and DMS down. Toggle between wide and narrow field of view with China hat up. There are three live video modes, CCD, which is similar to a television display, and forward looking infrared or FLIR as black hot or white hot. With the TGP assoy, use the boat switch to change mode. Boat switch up, boat switch down, boat switch centre, when you find a target or location of interest, set it to speed with TMS forward long. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you again for the next DCS 810C video.